Hello everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create a cascading dropdown in a Power App from a SharePoint list. So you can see I have two dropdowns, one for states, one for cities. I have a SharePoint list called TBL underscore location containing a state column and a city column. Notice that the state column is a choice type data type. I'm already connected to that SharePoint list in my Power App. So I'm going to select the state dropdown and in the items property I'm going to change this to choices the first first you have to put the data source which is tbo underscore location dot and then the column name which is state You see that Florida appears. If we run it, we have our states from our SharePoint list. Now I want to display the cities based on the state that's selected here. So this dropdown is called state dropdown this dropdown is called city dropdown. So I'm going to select the city dropdown. And in the items property, I'm going to do a filter by the TBL underscore location SharePoint list, looking at the state value, saying it's if it's equal to the state drop down if we play it right now we have Florida selected as our state we can choose the cities in Florida Orlando Miami or Tampa we choose Georgia notice that the city changes to cities in Georgia Virginia Texas and South Carolina if you enjoyed this content please like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video